In this video, we will show three different rescues. Yeah. I guess she needs help. She needs some help. But she's not injured. So. so, in this case, slide out with your line slide and personal anchor. Attach a rope or webbing ladder with a carabiner to the main line and assist the high liner while climbing and clipping the line slide. Oh, you must have made it. Yay! Yay. Are you able the to ideal it? material for the following rescues are a carabiner and sling, an auto locking belay device, a Prusik and carabiner, a line slider, a pulley with brake, a line grab, an auto locking carabiner, and a long enough static rope with a stopper knot in the end. As a rescuer, make sure you have two personal anchors with locking carabiners and a line slide to ensure your safety at all times during the rescue. Before getting on the line, communicate with the victim to potentially call outside help like an ambulance. Make sure to have at least one capable person at the anchor. Check that it is safe for you to go out and that you have all the necessary pre-assembled gear on you. If the person is conscious, take the time to position yourself behind the leash rings. Can you handle a carabiner? After the carabiner with the rope is correctly attached to the victim's belay loop, clip the line slide to the main and backup line. Then, attach the line grab behind it. Make sure the progress capture pulley is in locking mode before you give the sign to the anchor to pull. Pull! The securely attached person at the anchor pulls now with the previously installed 3 to 1 locking pulley system. As the rescuer, you can assist hauling the victim. Can you release some rope? To detach the line grab, you will most likely need some slack. Okay, start pulling. As the rescuer, you can guide the line slide and help passing connections or twist to the best spot for lowering. In case you don't have a locking line slide, attach an additional locking carabiner enclosing rope, main and backup line. To disengage the locking mechanism of the pulley, reinstall the line grab. Either untie the leash or cut with a thin cord, not a knife. Okay, can you pull? Get the people at the anchor to pull so you okay. can release the brake of the pulley. After double checking everything, the person at the anchor can start lowering the victim, who should be received by someone at the bottom. Make sure they have a first aid kit. In case of an unconscious highliner, first priority is to get them upright. To achieve this, lower yourself into your long personal anchor so you can reach the victim. Do this before moving behind the leash rings. To hold them upright, use a 120 cm sling with a knot in the middle or two 60 cm slings girth hitched together, forming a cross behind the back, creating a chest harness. Use your legs to hold the victim up while you attach the sling, then clip it to the leash. 
From now on, proceed like in the previous rescue, but make sure to clip the rescue rope to the carabiner of the chest harness as well. This time, to be able to transfer the victim up onto the cliff, lift the highliner as high as possible, about 20 centimeters below the line. This will give you enough free rope to release the brake of the pulley later. Transferring the victim from the line to a safe spot on the cliff will be the hardest part of the rescue if you don't have a raised anchor, like an A-frame. You will quite likely need multiple helpers with personal anchors to assist the transfer. If you can't make the transfer safely, leave the victim in a comfortable okay, position the at the anchor and wait for help. You want to say something? Thank you, I like it a lot. Every rescue scenario is different. Whether you lower or transfer depends on the highline spot. Having a prepared rescue bag on site makes highlining safer and rescues faster. But only when you know how to use the gear you prepared and all the participants practice with it regularly. Before starting your highline session, discuss the rescue plan with everyone. Stay safe!